Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Stand Up. This is going to be a little new format for this video series. Um, I'm going to try to incorporate our daily stand ups that we've been doing for what is it, the past like three or four months now. I'm going to try to move those into, you know, my desk space with my monitors, my microphone, keyboard, mouse, everything that I actually use at work on a daily basis. I'm going to try to get that for our daily stand up uh, series. Um, I just feel like the stuff that I want to do, I'm going to need my whole setup to, to show you and do that. I did get a new microphone, so I got a SteelSeries Alias Pro microphone. Hopefully that helps with the audio. I literally just got it today, so I have to I have to tune it, you know, or equalize it, whatever, um, to make it hopefully sound better. Um, but the funny thing is, I actually recorded this video like 10 minutes ago, and I realized that I had it on mute on the, the box here. So I'm like, I started to play the video, and there was no sound. So I'm like, oh no, I had to unmute. Um, and so I don't know if I'm doing this setup right, but I have my iPhone camera streaming to a uh, photo booth, and then I have a QuickTime uh, screen capture capturing photo booth. Now, this works because my it's it wirelessly streams to my, or using my iPhone's camera, because I have a MacBook. Um, and there's no cables and I can use my microphone through my, um, MacBook to record the screen capture. That works. I mean, I don't know, it, like if somebody has a better option for me to use, I mean, let me know. I know I can get an adapter and then hook up my microphone to my iPhone, but everything's already hooked up to my MacBook. So this might be the easiest way. I'm going to see how it works. I don't know. I got to play around with it. Um, the other thing that I want to potentially introduce is um, more like a different format for the coding, more like the coding series videos. Um, I want to see if I can trim the background of, of me. And then if I'm sitting here next to my displays, hopefully be able to record um, me and then the displays like this. Um, kind of like a screen capture or something as I'm going through talking about the system. So it'd be like, you would see me with no background, but then you see a screen capture of my displays. And then I, I think that that will look really cool. Um, I, we'll see. I'm going to try to introduce that into one of the upcoming um, coding videos for sure. So as far as the, um, the system that we've been working on, uh, I am going to do a full like demo of the current state of the system. Now that we're actually at our at my, you know, workstation, so I can stretch all the applications across my monitors, and then kind of show you the state of the system, and I'm going to keep the the numbers low just to show you kind of the flow of data across each application. So I'm basically going to show you, you know, application, you know, one, two, three, four, and then show you how the data is moving from front end, back end, RabbitMQ, Rust, and then back around to display on the front end. I think that that would be a really uh, good experience, and I think it would help you kind of visualize how the data is moving and what we're actually doing with the system that we've made so far. Um, another advantage to doing that is I could probably open up the architecture diagram that we made and then kind of walk through live as the data is flowing, you know, on my diagram, how it's all interacting. So that's just a thought. Um, I did say in the last stand-up, though, that I'm reading... Um, another Rust book by Manning Pub um, by Manning Publishers Publishing Publishers it's by Manning um, Code like a pro in Rust. So this is really good so far. Uh, I'm not too far into it. I'm like 35 pages, and the book itself is only about 230 230 pages. Um, but again, it's really solid, and I'm trying really to learn as much as I can in Rust. To be honest, I really want to get good at that language. There seems like there's a lot of opportunity uh, in this language for, you know, there, there's a lot of opportunity in the language, meaning um, it's growing in popularity. So I'd love to be able to incorporate that into my actual, like, real life job as, as a software engineer. Um, not that .NET leaves anything really, not that .NET can't, can't do everything that Rust can, um, but it's just a different experience and rust is really fast and it's really uh, good with memory so just being able to add that kind of to my tool set to 
for things that I can make and can bring into a system, I think would just be uh, really good and something that I want to do. So I'm going to try to dedicate a lot of time to learning that just on my own and, and reading books and videos and everything I can do. Um, one thing for me is I've noticed that it, it, it takes a while, I think, for languages to click. I remember when I was learning React um, for the first time, uh, you know, four, four and a half years ago, five years, whenever it was, um, it took, it took like, it, it felt like it took two years for that language, well, for that, uh, for, for that framework, we'll call it, to really uh, just, just kind of stick. Um, I, obviously, I've used JavaScript before, but something about React, you know, is just a different way of thinking. And obviously, I've read that documentation before on, Re on the React docs, thinking in React. I read that a couple times, and then I read it a couple more times, and then it, it just didn't feel like it was clicking. The, the, the only way, what, what made it click in my mind was when I was working on a project, and I had to just make a ton of components that were pretty much the same thing, but they, they were just components, pass props into the components, and then um, a parent called the child component. And I just did that a ton of times. And then something, you know, just after enough repetition, it finally just began to stick. Um, and I think they say that with everything, right? You know, with enough time, you begin to learn it. So um, that's what my hope is for. I hope that will happen for Rust is what I'm trying to say. I hope that will happen. Um, I don't know if it will. I don't know if it's going to take me a year, two years, but I'm determined to get really good in Rust and then use it continually in my personal projects and with the ultimate goal is to use it professionally. So we'll see what happens. Um, I just think it'll be a really good thing for me to learn. Um, so if anyone has an experience, you know, or is trying to learn Rust currently, um, you know, I'd love to hear. So, but anyway, so this is going to be hopefully the new format of this daily stand-up series um trying to in, we're going to try to increase the quality this year we're going to try to roll out some new things um real excited about it again got a new microphone hopefully the audio is greatly improved we'll see what the video quality does we'll see how we can modify that to make it better um but yeah so uh, honestly i think that's it so i'll see you guys in the next one